Hello everybody, Josh here and I am back today with another video. Um, I haven't made one in a while but uh, I thought I'd do one today. And uh, today we're in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, it's, it's a game I've wanted to bring to the channel for a while so I decided to. Um, as most of you will probably know last night, uh, SCS Software, and that's really loud, released their um, high, no they didn't, heavy cargo pack. I was about to say high value cargo then, but that's been out for ages. Um, their heavy cargo pack. Um, so I thought I would do a video on it. Because um, I'm interested to see how long. I've literally only just bought it and downloaded it about half an hour ago. I had to do a couple of things to get the game working and stuff. But anyway, we're in the wonderful RJL Scania today in this massively kitted out truck. And I tell you what, we're going to bloody need it. Um, obviously, as most of you will probably know, you've got the new thing when you're customizing the stuff it tells you what your truck suited for the for the most and where it says heavy cargo mine is like at the top of that so this is really suited to it uh, I've got a 730 horsepower engine in it today um, so you know it's a big old engine so uh, yeah I guess let's get on with it quick look inside we're in the uh, I'm in the exclusive cabin it's a bit dark at the moment but I'm an exclusive one I like that the best and uh, yes I have two sat -navs. don't judge so I think the best thing to do is um, take a look at the take a look at the job market okay so here we are we are in here so let's have a look we're at Southampton let's see what we got absolutely nothing in the yacht but that's not part of the pack Okay, well, that went well. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. We'll have to have a look around and, uh, like, teleport. Oh, here we go. Here you go. Concrete beams, 51 ton. Holy shit! That would be a trek and a half. That would, that would be, like, four parts. Is there anything a little bit shorter than that? I mean, I'm happy to do that, but... Wow. Wow. I to be the only one at the moment. I mean, 51 tons, though. What is that? That's not part of the pack. Yeah, there's really not a lot knocking around at the moment. I guess the, the freight market needs to sort of flush through, I suppose. That's, that's, that's only a really short one, and that's meh. That is meh. Okay, we're going to Plymouth. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. It's been in wind turbines. Oh, yeah, you could get a wind turbine nacelle, couldn't you? That was in it. I don't know whether to do the nacelle now to Dresden. Or the country wings to Goodnazak. Goodnazak? I don't know. There's really not that much in it. I've never been into Poland either. Screw it, we're doing concrete beams. 51 tons. So here, here's the truck analysis thing quickly, which is quite cool. So you can see here, this is obviously my truck, as you've seen. Torque, we've got 3,500 newton means of torque. That is mad. 730 horsepower engine, 13 gears, all the ratios. Got a retarder, four axles, two of them are powered. You see, normal cargo, it's really not that great. But this is optimised for heavy cargo. This is the best you're going to get. Maneuverability is shocking, but it's not actually too bad when you drive it. Hills is going to be too pretty well up. And uneven terrain is also going to do pretty well. So we'll continue that. Okay. So here we are. Holy moly. Now it doesn't look like a lot. But there is 51 tonnes there. So uh, we'll lower the rear axle down. I think beacon lights. Why are my top beacon lights not working? That makes me a bit sad, but the rear ones are, so it's fine. Jesus Christ. We're using first gear here. Let's get some lights going. Usually helps. I'm going to go out back out of gear and adjust my chair. <laughs> because this is going to be a journey of the ages. Okay. Off we go. 
The truck's handling it quite well. God almighty, you can feel the weight on this. This is mad. Look at this. Can't actually see the rear of the trailer. It's that long. Oh, really? Okay. Let's see if it'll start in fourth. Oh, just. I usually start most of my... When I go from stop, it's usually fourth I started. I'm going to put that into third. I'm glad I'm doing this manual. Pull in. I've got my foot flat on the floor. Change the transmission range ready. There's eighth. I wonder how quick it loses speed up here. See, I think if we were in anything less than a 7.30, I think we'd start to have problems. This is heavy. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Or 6 o'clock even. We've got a service station coming up ahead. I think it'd probably be a good idea to get some fuel. From Dieselonium. That's all these road works. Which have been here for like nine 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 years. Coming out into sixth, lower ranges. And the street lights have just gone off. <laughs> I'm having to use the beacon light at the back to actually sort of gauge what what's going on. years it's taken them to lay that bit of road. <laughs> now with the service station just up ahead, I'm not even going to bother really accelerating. I'm just going to keep it in sixth. I've got real fuel consumption on as well. So this is just going to drink fuel. Oh my god, it doesn't want to stop! Let's fuel her up. Oh yeah, I've got that Sal mod installed. So I feel like the fuel and stuff. <laughs> Ding! Oh, you can't even put the fuel cap on. Brilliant sound mod, it really is. Oh, let's not start in start in second. <laughs> Going through gears that I don't usually go through, like five and, and three and one. I never use these gears. Could be interesting. <clears throat> Man, I tell you what, if you saw this coming towards you, you want to get on the right side of the road. Because you would not want this in your face. I'm also ever so slightly concerned that my eight shift is now coming off my desk. 
let's get on the road. See, it's, it's struggling just up these hills, these small hills. I mean, look at this. Look at that. And I don't think it's a great idea to go particularly fast on here. I mean, I'm only just getting up to 50 now. Well, that was a bump in the road, wasn't it? This is going to be the journey of all times, it really is. I cannot believe the distance we're going here. I'm reckoning four parts. How quickly it loses speed, this is immense. A retarder. Which sounds way better than the default retarder. Actually sounds like a retarder, which is always good. I've got an odd feeling we need to come out here. Yeah, we do. Actually, no, maybe not. <laughs> Lel. Move back over. Oh, actually, no, cancel that. Now, I don't have Viva La France, so this is why I don't have Pro Mods installed. Apparently, we are coming off here. I should really be checking my mirrors, but hey, there you go. Straddle both lanes, I think. That was like full retarder. So also on my G27 what I do is I use the um, flappy paddles as the retarder increments. These sounds are a lot better though. I haven't really played ETS 2 since all the, sort of the new updates because I've been mainly on MP. Oh my god. As if we were struggling up that. Apparently this guy wants to get flattened by 21 tons of concrete. Just going through every gear this truck has. <laughs> see, because there's, I don't know if we'll see them today, but uh, there, there's other ones like a locomotive, a 61 ton locomotive, and it's like, holy moly. In a later video, I might, have, I might do a challenge, like take a really low power truck, say a Renault or something, or like just a truck that's really not rated for high speeds, uh, for heavy cargo even. To see how it performs. Our retarder slowed us down quite nicely. It's going to use more fuel, but I'm just going to keep it in the higher revs. We're doing 15 eighths, I mean, that's pretty not good. Holy Jesus! The drop off then? This is insane. Wait, I think this trailer has like rear movable axles or something. I would think it does, judging by how that's moving with the truck. Dude, as if that van tried to overtake. Why would you try to overtake 51 tons of concrete? Like, what, what's wrong with... Look, he's driving on the wrong side of the road. Like, what's wrong with you mentally? Well, I think that's the one vengeance I have with this game is how the AI overtakes you like the way it does on country roads. That does annoy me. 
that, that really should be something to fix. Like, I know traffic does it, but not every single car does, and I think that maybe that's something they need to fix, is have it random, just like not every single car, but maybe randomly have it so some cars don't, like the occasional one does. You can still hear the birds, even though you're inside a roaring truck. That's brilliant. I'll tell you what, after this journey, I think the retarder might need replacing the amount of times we're going to use it today. Oh! Nope. Rip me. I haven't really got it above 10 yet. I actually haven't got it above 10. Keep it in ninth here for this uh, hill. I mean, you really probably shouldn't be taking 51 tonnes down these country roads. You probably wouldn't do that in real life, but... Oh well. You definitely route plan. But we're not exactly going through the French roads today, so it's not too bad. I don't think... No, we shouldn't be. Actually, we might for a little bit, but... This is a bit fast. I'm surprised how well this Scania's dealing with the light. I know it's a Scania in a 730 horsepower and anything, but I really thought we'd struggle a lot more than what we are. But, if you, don't, you, you think about it, you've got two drivable, like, sort of, um, powered axles. I'm going to say drivable axles. Fox with drivable axle. Um, you've got two powered axles, you know, you've got 730 horsepower, an additional two axles for grip on top of that. Like, you know, this is max confidence. This is a heavy haul truck. And it'd be nice if there was some heavy haul uh, repaints for it, for because this is obviously the RJL version. So it'd be nice if there was some actual heavy haul repaints for it. I hope somebody does that. Because this is max config. Things I could have even gone for a longer wheelbase than this, but I have driven longer wheelbases, and I think it gets to a point where you you sort of stop having more power, and it starts to become stupid, like just the sheer length of it. And you need maneuverability just as much as you need power. Like you, you would feel a noticeable difference in this compared to say a um, sort of a short wheel basically one drivable axle at the front uh, I keep saying drivable uh, one powered axle I'm liking what they've done with the AI traffic these sounds And there's country specific police cars now you'll notice, but well, I think that's been there for a while to be honest. As I said, I, I really haven't played this game in ages. I mean in terms of like single player. It's all been multiplayer I've done. And my frame rate has just taken a tanking. Apparently speed limit's now 50. Good thing about going uphill with the heavy load is you quite often you can use the hill to your own advantage. So you can just take your foot off the gas like I've done now and use the hill to slow down. Which is quite a cool feature, but just wow. can't actually see the trailer in the offside uh, the near side mirror even. You can literally only see it in the near side. No you can't in the offside I mean. My brain will wake up in a minute and then it'll be great. I cannot get over just how big that is. Like what, I say how big it is, like, it looks, it, it's big, don't get me wrong, but it looks so inconspicuous in terms of uh, weight. Like, you would think, you know, you look at that and you think, oh, that's maybe, what, 20, 30 tonnes. You wouldn't think it's 51 tonnes, would you? But then again, you don't think about the truck and stuff either. 
uh, it's the, the the load alone is 51 tons I don't know whether that puts in the weight of the trailer itself either um, it may do so you may be looking at about 53 54 tons if you count the trailer you've then got the truck now a truck like you know a standard truck can weigh about 15 uh, no it can't it can weigh about 10 tons on its own so you look at this you're probably looking at about 15 tons so you're going to be looking in what sort of 55 so you're looking at a good you're going to be looking at a good 70 tons let's not do that like you're going to be looking a good 70 tons and apparently nobody wants to let me out got to say there are days i do prefer um as bad as the ai traffic is there are days i do prefer this to multiplayer like it feels so much nicer having ai cars than just like empty roads and the occasional truck or the occasional convoy it feels nice like having to properly indicate out and stuff for traffic and look in your mirrors one good thing with this game is one thing i like actually do we need to come back over or not no we don't i just noticed i haven't actually come out of 90 oh we're struggling I'm still in ninth. What is this? Apparently, we are struggling much more than I thought. This is just the truck doesn't feel comfortable to come out of ninth. Like it doesn't feel like it. It should come out of ninth. It feels like it should just stay there. And I know it feels weird saying, "Well, how can you feel what the truck is doing?" But you really can. When you're when you're steering it, especially with something like a G27, which is like a very high-end wheel. You know, it, it really does feel like it, and you you really can feel what the truck is doing, and I, that's one thing I really do like about this game, And because I, I can tell you now, I, now, it feels like it could go into 10th. But the slightest tilt, that'll be back down to, say, 50. And I know there is a quite a few steep hills in Europe so it could be interesting once we sort of get out of the UK because the UK yeah there is some steep bits to the UK but generally on the most part the UK is quite sort of flat terrain to be honest like where roads are and stuff you obviously get the occasional Devon I know is quite hilly and and, and things like that so it's, please don't, don't be like you know it was really not flat is it I walk up a fucking 10% gradient hill every day yeah brilliant I go on a bus street every, like nearly every day that's a 16% gradient hill on a street deck so the bus enthusiasts among us will understand what that means but for the mechanics among us you know 10 ton bus 4 cylinder 5 litre engine do I need to say anymore with a 4 speed gearbox which is so fucking focused on fuel economy it doesn't actually know how to give power to a gearbox no, to an engine even But yeah, for the most part, the UK is quite a flat place if you look at it from a sort of geometric angle. He says as he goes down an immensely steep hill. That's two notches of retarder. Three. Three notches of retarder only just slow it down. And this child has got five notches, so, you know, if you're going down a really, really steep hill, like, say, Iceland or something, dude, that reminds me, that's a video that's going to happen, actually. When I, um, actually buy Viva La France, which I do intend to soon, with any luck, um, when I do get that, obviously, Pro Model will, will go back into this game. And I really, really, if it's possible, and if the game allows me to do it, I really want to take one of these high-end, um, loads out of the pack say up or down i don't mind which but sort of like the the icelandic mountains because a lot of their stuff is hilly and uh, iceland is basically one massive mountain well it's not really but it's sort of a series of volcanoes and mountains that just make up where where they live so i definitely want to do that that sounds like a v8 going past it got to be said I do prefer pro mods it's just a shame that they've they've done it now so that you know not long after Viva La France come out they've made it only compatible with um, all three map DLCs whereas I think it would have been nice if they had had the option maybe maybe just for say until the next major update which I, I don't think is too far off to be honest but it would have been nice just for them to sort of like 
hold off fire a bit but oh well I suppose in theory most people are going to buy Viva La France so it makes sense but I still think they should have done what they did with 1.26 which is you know have an option for those who have the, the France DLC and, and for those that don't because sometimes it's unfair that they expect you to have to sort of you know you only, you pay one dollar and you get all the big down like you get all the pro mod download in one pack as opposed to downloading like 999 files although i think they've they've transitioned now to one big installer i think for their latest version but even so right they kind of they're kind of turning around and saying oh if you want our packs you have to pay 15 pound to a completely different company it's essentially what they're saying because with pro mods only you only get donations and it's not like paid or anything it's free and it comes from, oh, and I just got a speeding fine, lol. And it also comes from, you know, people downloading that 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 one dollar. But the thing is, is people go, oh, why I have to pay? Well, you give me seven downloads. What are you doing? But you look at pro mods work, and you look at how much time they put in, and how much effort goes in, and how much detail goes into it. I would more than happily pay a dollar, and I have done every time I've downloaded a new pro mods version. I have paid the one dollar because they actually deserve it. If I was in a better position, I would genuinely pay more. Like through, a, I'd pay the dollar and then give an extra couple of dollars through a donation or something. But that's the thing. Got a job interview coming up, so that could be interesting for me. That's full retarder, and look how slowly I'm slowing down. See, I'd usually be in 11th or 12th by now with the Scania on standard. Well, even with the 24 tons, really. But this, this 51 ton, you can feel it. You can feel it how it pulls back and gravity takes its part. Like you'll feel it. I'll, I'll feel it up this hill. I'm gonna say you'll feel it. You probably won't. But my foot's flat on the floor, no clutch. And you can see we lost a good six mile an hour during that. And is he going to be really? He is. Okay. That's not something you want to do with a 51 ton load. That's why I hate. I hate lane merges at the best time in this game. But to do it with a load of this, just this sheer scale. It's gone the right side of the road. Dude, I've just thought, is it going to take us on the Euro Tunnel? <gasps> nah, it shouldn't do. That'd be the wrong way, surely. I mean, if it does, I'm going to take the ferry instead. Because I know my way to the ferry. Let's go through Dover itself. Been on the Channel Tunnel many times. Well, I say many times, about three or four. I think I've been on there. Uh, twice to Calais, once to Disneyland, Paris that is, I can't remember what the other time was, might have been when I went to Belgium, I think we dropped through France into, yeah, yeah it was the other time, no it must have been about five times then because I've been to Belgium twice, we, you went, we went on the Channel Tunnel and dropped through France to get into Be uh, Belgium. Um, then we went. Then I've been twice to actually Calais itself via the Channel Tunnel. We went in the big hypermarket and stuff. And then obviously once to Disneyland Paris. But I've been to France uh, more than that. Because then I've also been a few times on the ferry when the coach company I used to go with actually did ferry. No, he's getting us on the ferry, that's fine. Uh, the coach club that I used to go with did the ferry before sort of everything went wrong. And um, from now, I mean, I've been in sort of, I've been, where have I been? I can't remember where it is in France, but it, it's it's a big aquarium. It's really good. Like, I'm pretty certain you have an IMAX cinema and everything. It's brilliant. It wasn't Paris. I can't remember where it was. I don't know if it was Calais again. I think it was. I can't remember what the aquarium is called. It's like I think it's just called Aquarius or something. I actually was getting us down the Channel Tunnel. As if. 
I'm going to take the ferry because I really don't want to take a 51 ton load. And I know it's going to, obviously the game is going to be more than compatible for it, because obviously it's an official DLC, but even so. If we're doing this realistically, if we're doing this realistically, a 51 ton load would probably take the ferry. I doubt it would take the channel tunnel. Really easy to get to the Dover Ferry. Are you literally just you carry on straight down and it's just like a straight line pretty much. So apparently ATS has got a double D clutch in it now. Which is fairly interesting. Yeah. I mean, I've been re uh, sort of thinking of um, channel rebranding. Ah, and there's a 30 I forgot about this. I am full retarder. Are you sure to stop dead by now? Oh my god. Holy <laughs> 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 Fuck! I get told off for swearing again. Leave me alone. I was about to say, I've decided that the channel is going to be rebranded, and when I get my new gaming PC, do you want to stop? When I get my new gaming PC is when I'll um, change the branding. I've got a couple of names in my head, but I'll. I'll, I'll say about more of that in the future. Could not believe how close that was. That was insane. No, nope, that's not. Why is my frame rate taking a tank in again? And typical Dover caught in traffic. Actually, while we're caught with these lights, it'd be a good idea to look at them. Look at that. You would not want to have a collision with that. I like the handbrake sound. Remember, you can't start in that, and also would like to get a clutch correct. Ooh, we just made it through now. Um, now, it's like left down here, I think. Why well, can I hear a plane? There's no airports near Dover. I actually think it should have been straight down. We've gone the long way around, but oh well. As if he wants to try... Why? That car. Ooh! Did you tell I haven't been on a single play for a while? Here we go, Dover Ferry, here we go. Let's break the gearbox in the process here as well. Button. Can't believe it still wants me to take the channel tunnel. But it surely makes more sense to take the ferry anyway. Because I really don't especially want to drive through Calais. Because it's just in bad in, in multiplayer as it is solo. And I'm going to have a drink because I'm that unprofessional. Honestly, because I've been going long enough to need a drink. Starts in fourth again like a pro. But to be fair, it's pretty good the Scaniel's handling it that well. Yeah, 
Even before Steel wants Channel Tunnel. Um, okay. Oh, God. Hill, Mayday. I didn't think of that. Who just beeped? No way. Who just fucking beeped their horn? I swear someone did. go the right way and I think I've just gone the wrong way but there you go and we'll use tow brakes for that I think rip gearbox <laughs> we ain't gonna be able to climb much faster than two up here goes up quite well. You can go scan you. Just line it up all proper. A lot of ferry a uh, lot of ferries on here. <laughs> A lot of trucks on here. And there you go. I'm going to turn our lights off as well. Red line. Okay. Right. Let's go on the ferry. Okay. So. Let's go. We've arrived in Calais. We've had our bacon butty and coffee for breakfast and gained 999 pounds. We'll just take it off second off the ferry. I think it's the best option. <laughs> the load's pushing us down. Where's parking? I think I have to board the ferry. Oh wait, look, there's parking down here. Right then. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it in there. There's fuel tanker. Could have pulled forward a bit. They all could have done. Can I even get this in? There we go. And stalls the truck on the pro. Right then. Turn the beacon off. So I think that will conclude episode one of this epic, epic voyage. I am looking forward to the next couple of parts, however many it's going to be, I don't know. I'm reckoning four parts. But I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is certainly going to be interesting. But until the next time, from myself, my stowaway in the passenger seat, which I forgot to show you, <laughs> uh, from 51 tons of concrete, thank you very much for watching. Until the next episode, let's try not to hit anything. <laughs> <laughs>